Hello, beautiful, amazing, fantastic world, and you, individual out there. Today, I would like to speak about inner soul warmth. Inner soul, soul warmth, or inner warmth, is different from the outer physical warmth when it comes to experiencing it. They are fundamentally the same, just works in the spiritual and in the physical sense. That means we do experience them in two different ways. Through inner physical warmth. Inner physical warmth comes from understanding, from morals and love, from care, nurture and, and truly appreciating and revering the moment. Through being warm and here and now, being grateful and also being open and in a wondrous state allows for soul warmth. Yes, some things might be painful, some things might be uncomfortable, but when all comes to all, in the highest sense of the hierarchy, we do have warmth, and this warmth will always be there, and to have that as a comfort, to truly have that as an anchor to something to strive towards and to truly have as help, is really helpful in general. To be able to have this warmth within ourselves, even in the coldest and darkest of moments, is when you ignite and enlighten your own inner source of divinity. That is when you become self-dependent, self, you become independent and infuse yourself with divine light. You do not anymore need to absorb from everyone else and teachers and books and you are slowly but surely starting to open it up for yourself. You have built the instrument long enough to be able to study it yourself and to feel it yourself. So it becomes reality. In the start when we're studying spirituality, it is more concepts and abstractions first. It becomes different symbols and different thought patterns and ways we think about life. But over time they become something you can experience because first it was theory, then it became knowledge, then it became doing and it became reality in a sense. It takes time and it takes training. That's the same with the soul warmth. The more you ignite your inner sun, your inner soul, your inner heart sun that radiates out the warmth, the safety, the feeling that you belong in a sense in this beautiful, beautiful un uh, unfolding and development of humanity is when the warmth can be truly felt. You do feel it right now, don't you? The, the warmth that allows for listening and understanding and truly but just be and let spirit unfold itself within our soul to feel the ever-changing imperishable spirit constantly experiencing constantly in change constantly in development it never it is never standing still the soul is more the one that is a little more still that is more saving up and having memories and such, but the spirit is ever unfolding, imperishable. And spirit takes with it the many, many lessons and extract out what we have learned in many lifetimes and take it with us further and further, developing more and more within, within ourselves. Learning more and more, appreciating humanity, being grateful, truly trying to find things to appreciate, to revere, to be wondrous, to have devotion to. Because these feelings brings warmth, inner warmth. You won't find inner warmth in nature, in dead nature, in animals, in unless they are pets, of course, but they share your warmth. That's the difference. But out in nature, in the wild wilderness, there is very little to hold on to in warmth, 
except the sublime nature of the beautiful architectural structures, forms, shapes, movements and different individualities of spirits everywhere. That is something to revere and appreciate. But if you are only trying to find it out in the sense perceptible world without using your soul spirit faculties, you won't find it. Not outside. It has to be ignited, enlightened within you so that it can connect and come together with the outer sense perceptible world. So you infuse it with life, you infuse it with splendor and beauty so that you can share it and be warm. To help others, to uplift, to truly try to be a helpful force, to be a symbiote to this earth, a guardian of this earth, and to protect what is truly good, righteous and loving, the warmth. Warmth truly, truly, when you inner warmth, the warmth, you, you feel that. It is truly something sublime. It can't really be described in words really, except if I try to describe around this so that you ca I can point towards it. But in the end it is only a description that can point towards the true reality lying underneath it which only you can experience through you building up your understanding for it. Once you do so, you can experience it yourself. And once you can experience it to yourself, you can relate to others that also experience it. And you can relate to most people, because you become of a flexible, shape-shifting, ever-unfolding, developing nature. That is what it means to truly be actively, consciously spiritual. It is an ever, ever, ever moving, dancing, beautiful. So the more we get to be aware and get used to it, to sit in this river of, of flow, of movement, and become comfortable with it, the more second nature it becomes, the more automatic it becomes. So that you more and more easily can become of help, can become of a healing nature. The healing nature of humanity is in the warmth, is in the understanding, the empathy, the truly, truly standing another person's shoes and trying to see it and feel it and visualize it from their perspective. Truly going into that nature. Because many, many, many of our earlier lives might have experienced such memories deep in the recesses of our soul. And we might visualize and relate directly how they experience something, even though we necessarily didn't experience it in this life. We still understand it because it is humanity, it is human to be experiencing such both strifes and joys. The enjoyments of life, the ups and the downs, which teaches us lessons and appreciates the ups again. So that we are grateful when something good shows up, when something that we truly, it, fe it feels more like it is a gift and not something we deserve in a way. So we are grateful that thank you for experiencing this. I do not truly deserve it. We have a lot of karma to pay off, but thank you. It will give me the strength to keep on for the future. That is what it is. It is encouragement, grace. Karma is what we, we have a debit account of karma and we're paying it off slowly but surely over many lifetimes. But the grace is something that is given to us through the goodness of the future. That is what I live, that is the principle I live by. So that I do not take advantage or, or use, I think I feel entitled to anything. I appreciate life as it comes. And everything I am given, I thank. And I'm gra I graciously and truly appreciate and, and have reverence for this work and for what we do. Brings warmth. So sitting in that warmth for a little and just feeling it and be reverent to the moment.
comes a long way in unfolding and makes it easier to sit still and let it unfold consciously. Thanks everyone. May the divine and Christ and the hierarchy and God all guide you and may you find your beautiful heroic path to this wonderful, wonderful evolution. I love you all. Thank you. You beautiful, beautiful souls. Subscribe, comment, share, like. Goodbye.